Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my top 5 healing tips for Restoration Shaman in Mythic Plus during Season 3 of Dragonflight. Going straight to business, number 1, keep up your healing rain. And as an extra bonus tip, try to stay inside of your healing rain. There's several reasons for that. The healing portion of the healing rain is negligible, but everybody standing inside benefits from the deluge talent. That means if you need to spot heal somebody, including yourself, you're going to get 20% increased value on your spells. And that's actually huge. The other big reason is that it's going to do a lot of passive damage because of the acid rain talent that you're probably running. Did you know that if a target stays inside of your healing rain for the whole duration, it's going to take more damage than your lightning bolts? And since both have the same casting time, that means that you need to keep the healing rate up even on a single target as it's going to do more DPS and still give you the healing benefits that we already mentioned. Number 2. Keep up Earth Shield on yourself and on your tank most of the time, 100% of the time. With the current tuning, this spell is going to do a lot of healing on both targets throughout the dungeon, but the more important part is that Earth Shield gives you 6% damage reduction. So if you keep it up all the time, that means that both you and your tank are going to be taking 6% less damage for the whole entire dungeon. So if you sum up and you calculate all that mitigated damage for the whole dungeon, well, it's going to be a huge number. Number 3 is use your Cloudburst totems aggressively. Unless you're running Healing Stream totem, which you could, but you know, in case you're not. So the tips here are have a Cloudburst rolling at the start of each trash pool and try to never stay at 2 charges, always have 1 rolling if you are capped at this criteria. During boss fights, keep an eye on your timers for very important mechanics and try to align your Cloudburst to end as the mechanic is going to happen or as it already passed. Remember that the cloud burst is 18 seconds long assuming you're running the talents that extend its duration and also remember that you can manually pop it a little bit early if you need the extra healing. I've also created a weak aura that will tell you when to drop the cloud burst during important boss fights and mechanics so if you're interested check the description of this video for a link and a video explaining how it works. Number 4 use your spirit link totem as much as you can. I see so many shamans, myself included, who run the whole dungeon without pressing that button even once. And since there are very few places where this spell is actually needed and very effective, for example the first Shadow Bolt volley in the last boss in Black Rook Code, you should try to keep that spell on cooldown for the rest of the dungeon so you get some value out of it. And since the shamans don't have an external, you can think of it this way, you can use it as an external by just standing next to the person who needs help and dropping it there. At the very least, you're going to mitigate some damage, probably save somebody's life and even save up a different cooldown. And last but not least, use your ancestral guidance as often as possible. It's a relatively short 2 minute cooldown and it's going to allow you to keep your group topped up during trash packs by just spamming chain lightning and doing some extra damage. In fact, you can combine it with your stormkeeper, you can even precast the stormkeeper before the pool starts and then once the damage comes you just prop your AG, you send in your big chain lightnings and you're just vibing and chilling. This is actually a very very powerful combo. So these are my top 5 tips for playing Restoration Shaman in Mythic Plus during Season 3 in Dragonflight. Let me know what are your tips in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye bye, take care and get out of here.